But yeah, I, the the, uh, the brother Belial interview uh, was weird. Uh, all the Dwayne Martin and Will Smith allegations, and that was crazy. I didn't believe. I couldn't listen to the whole interview. The reason I couldn't listen to the whole interview as he was everything was just so negative. It seemed like he was really reaching. He was reaching. I had never heard some of the stuff that he said before, and it was just like I can't. So yeah, I, I it, didn't believe him. It seemed like he was uh, chasing a bag. He, he was trying it. Yeah, it seemed like he was chasing a bag. He said some weird stuff. He said uh, about both of them, about Will and Jada. Yeah, and I just uh, you know it's weird for me, but uh, the the Puff and Cassie uh, settlement. Uh, you know, for an undisclosed amount, they settled. I did read that they settled. Um, I, I would love to know for the amount, but they haven't gave that information. Well, yet. she she uh, she asked for thirty, if, if I'm not mistaken. Thirty million. Yeah, and, and uh, him and his team combated that, and uh, so we do, we ain't gonna know what they settled for. But I believe. I would love to know what they settled for, but. Um, so when it comes to the young, right? While they said that he wasn't uh, thrown off a back, uh, wasn't, uh, you know, <laughs> held off a back and nothing like he that. He denied like that. any type of yeah. stories that was going around with it. But when it comes to the um, I just, I don't want to downplay Cassie, you know, because if you're a victim and you've been hurt, you know, my heart do go to any women that went through abuse, especially being a woman who went through uh, domestic violence and all different types of abuse as far as physical, mentally, you know, sexually. So this is not a time that I'm trying to bash her. But also speaking from a woman who's been through that, it's just... If you're going to wait these many years, right, after y'all stop being together... And you're going to come at him. I would feel, I would have liked it better if you just wanted to do that because you're trying to prevent someone else getting hurt. You know, he's been seen with Young Miami everywhere. Uh, there was some other girl, the baby mom. You know, it's a lot of this stuff he got. So if you're just trying to prevent somebody else getting hurt, you're still dealing with the trauma. I get that. But when it comes to her, it just doesn't seem like that's what's going on. It seemed like uh, maybe she fell on some hard times and thought, ooh, I remember when he might have done something weird. Because we know Puffy weird, weird or whatever. Like, we know this. So, and um, her and her husband decided to get some money because she was real quick to settle. I just uh, rather Puff weird or not, I just relying down with a, a black man being attacked. Like, you know, over the that last part. 10 years, you know, we, uh, Bill Cosby, uh, you know, uh, uh, I think Jamie Foxx, Michael Jackson, all these guys, like, a, you know what I'm saying? Puff on that level to me. So, I, I really don't. Uh, I ain't gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be biased, you know what I'm saying, towards mm. the black black man. Uh, but yeah, uh, talking about uh, repeated physical abuse, uh, the R word, and sex trafficking, which sounds crazy if you're my girlfriend and willingly going anywhere with me. But. But see, this is the thing. Like, it's kind of like what you said. You shouldn't be attack, attacking the black men. We we don't have many black males that are successful, right? So we have. A handful, and then you have uh, even a less hand, a, even a less number than the ones that are billionaires. So we have three sons together. They're black males. We know how you're a black male. You know how hard it'd be. So it's like, I don't know. I didn't like that. I don't like how it's, it's having a neg negatively <laughs> impact on him um, with all his business and just what people saying. They're bringing up all type of old stories now. I, and uh, I heard a couple of people dropped him uh, or, or put business proposals on hold. Mm -hmm. yeah. I seen that. I ain't with it. I don't like it. Uh, the, the show done started though. So um, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, happy belated Thanksgiving. It's probably a day or two <laughs> later now. Um, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Like you said, it might air later, but we want you to know uh, that we are thankful, you know what I'm saying, to be able to do this, share our opinions and thoughts, and hopefully leave some type of positive feedback. But yeah, happy Thanksgiving. So what you want to talk about with Thanksgiving? Uh, being thankful, uh, being calm, uh, and, and more of a, the, our main topic would probably be uh, forgiving family. You gotta uh, forgive family, you know what I'm saying. So, and sometimes it can be tough to forgive family, but uh, what better time than the holidays? 
mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas days. Uh, forgive your family, man. Let yes. go of past beefs uh, and grudges towards family members. I think when uh, when you say forgiving or giving or it's Thanksgiving, any holiday, Christmas, any holiday, Easter, as it coming forward, I think that's the time to, like you said, uh, not only forgive, but definitely reach out to your family, let them know that they're loved. Um, I'm all for like I distant myself from anyone that's toxic. I don't care if it's family or not, but I am learning and trying to do better when it comes to holidays because holidays can be hard. You know, you got people who go through depression during these times because of the loved ones that are gone. You know, you have uh, a lot of hurt that's going on in the world today. Um, here in Decatur, Alabama, we're still, you know, going through the Steve Perkins, wanting justice for Steve Perkins, you know. Uh, if you haven't heard that story, we'll be touching it again. Uh, so we touched it on a previous podcast. But yes, um, so with all the hurt and loss that people experience during these times, I mean, I can only imagine. I just lost my brother. And it can be really hard when you have people gone. But you have to cherish the memories and be thankful for the people that surround. And if you got anyone, whether they're family, not you know, blood relative, none blood, that shows you any type of love, you know, um, give that love back. You know, it's time for giving. It's time to be thanks and when you put that positive energy out you do receive it back and it does make you feel better so focus on all the positive uh the positive memories if you're dealing with any type of loss or being alone reach out to those who are showing they love you i would say that when it comes to thanks being thankful and giving yeah uh, that's a fact uh i feel like uh we should uh value family first and also remember because you touched on it Loving a family member from a distance is still love. So love that family member. Reach out. It's, I mean, you know what I'm saying? A phone call can be uh, from 30 miles away, 200 miles away, 1,000 miles away. But just only on the holiday. I mean, on the holiday. Because you got people that you might have been distant from that you don't even talk to no more. You know, but you might want to let them know, like, hey, I love you. I'm cheering on from the sideline. Like, there's no love lost. I'm still here rooting for you. So this is my token of love to show you, especially during the holidays. If you don't do it no other time, this is the time to do it. But Because at times of loss, you can't ever have that connection again Absolutely. to that person. So, you know, I, I do believe in uh, what you say and uh, reaching out to your loved ones during these holidays. I think the holiday is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the holiday is important. You know, um, uh, especially for the kids, Especially for families, you know what I'm saying? Because nowadays, <clears throat> you know, kids don't really know their cousins, their first cousins. Mm -hmm. You know, the ones that even look just like them, they don't know each other. That's true. So I think the holidays is a perfect time for that. And, uh, you know, I, and I, to think, give love. I think it's a wonderful time to be thankful for family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make emphasis on family right now, you know. I mean, friends and loved ones is awesome. But they could be family too. Family is where love is. No, I'm talking about blood family. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Blood family. You know, I'm talking about uh, for, forgiving uh, forgiving each other, uh, not letting the grudges go. Uh, uh, a, a lot of times, family, it, we can't, uh, we don't know what, what it's called, but what I like to phrase it as, I hate seeing me in you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You might, you, you, you know, family members, uh, we close. We're, well, we're a whole lot alike. That's, that's, that might be why we don't get along so well. You know what I'm saying? I'm an alpha, you're an alpha. I wouldn't know. You know what I'm saying? You speak your mind, I speak my mind. You know? So I feel like, you know, uh, it's... Being someone who family has been close, I have many people that I may call family that I'm closer to that's not blood than I do that, than I am closer to. Like, I'm closer to the people that's not blood that I call family than the ones that I'm actually blood with. And they are my family. Like, we share the same DNA. Like, I have family member right here in this town that I will, that, that's really close. First cousins, sisters, brothers, that I would love to be able to connect to on the holidays. But, um, you know, I mean, unfortunately, it's, that's not the case of our family dynamic. And I've tried, so I feel like I've done my part. But so that's why I say, anyone that you receive the love from you know what i'm saying i can't make nobody love me whether you blood or not but if you're not blood and you love me i love you back and i want you to know i love you back and i love those people too i just not connected with them so that's why i say that 
Because not everyone is is blessed. And if you have family, like you're talking about, you know, close-knitted right there, make sure you appreciate that and be thankful for it and embrace it. I I agree with with that. I was just specifically talking about blood family right now and uh, because I I do feel like uh, what's a better time than the holidays to reconnect? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or link up. Everybody's going to be a grandma, auntie, you know, first cousin house. Some everybody going to be somewhere. You got a point. You know, so that, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that uh, I'm not dissing uh, friends and loved ones, you know, or those connections at all. Well, that's actually good because I think that's something we need to do, but get back to with our uh, black culture. Reaching out to our loved ones, like you said, blood family. What what better time to do that, you know, other than holidays? Like if we don't talk and stuff, this is the time where we need to reach out to each other because we should, you know, or we do love each other, or just because we genetically connected. Like let's get through something about us is alike in some way, you know. So. Yeah, I agree. And I think we need to do better on doing that. Let's get back to where we had grandmama who brought the whole family in. And you might not saw this cousin number one and two times except for you might not see this cousin no more during the year except for on the holiday. So, yeah, I think we need to get back to that. That would be great. Yeah, the older I get, uh, the more family matters to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, it's, it sounds like, uh, you know, Steve or reminding me of Steve. <laughs> but, yeah, family does matter to me. Um, and. I'll probably be a granddad soon. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking over the next 10 years, definitely. I mean, you know, I got a 17-year-old well, son. He, he likes gonna ladies. He's going to be a granddaddy next year. Right, right. Yeah, so, you know. Yeah, maybe on the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So family matters to me, you know what I'm saying? Blood family matters to me. That, I mean, it, that's what family is. I, I'm not just talking about, you know, I ain't dissing a human family, every, everybody's family, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, you're actually kin. Your actual kin. I just want to talk about your actual kin folks. Mm, I have to disagree to disagree because I think it's more than that. I mean, you can have because you can agreeing, have. You're you're disagreeing. I agree with, to disagree with, because what? you can have family that is not. I mean, yes, we're connected, but I can't make you like him. I can't make you want to be around me. I'm not finna keep going out my way or anything to when you're not doing anything that's gonna help bring me up. When every time I'm around you, you're bringing me down. So I'm sorry. I still feel like if that's blood or not blood, if you got that, I don't want it and I don't care. So that's just me. I didn't that. say anything. No, because but, but you're making emphasis on family has to be blood, and that's what it should no, be. I didn't say, more than that. No, I didn't say family had to be blood. No, it don't have to be blood, but you put emphasis on blood. On family. blood family. Yeah, yeah, and I think it, um, it doesn't matter whether it's blood or not. And I wasn't, and it wasn't a personal thing. It was just a in general thing. I know, and I'm just saying it didn't. Yeah, but to you me, brought, my you brought opinion, a lot of you in. <laughs> I know. I, I think I'm not the only general. person that believes that. I believe anyone would feel like blood or not blood. Family is the people who love you and show that they love you in some form. Yeah. They want to be around you. If you say, if you haven't seen this cousin, they you want to connect with them, then they want to connect you with you. But if you got family who don't, it's okay. Love the ones who do love you, whether they're blood or not. That's all I'm saying. I agree with that. Yeah, we're not, we're not in disagreement at all. Yeah, I mm-hmm. wasn't disagree, in, in disagreement with that. No. I uh, just feel like family should... Yeah. What's a better time to reconnect <laughs> with family and show love to actual family members than the holidays, guys? That's all. Mm. Yeah. I feel strong about that. I can agree with you on that. <clears throat> family being anyone. Yeah. So, you know, uh, you know, I was trying to put emphasis on Thanksgiving and being thankful and being kind and forgiving family. That was kind of the structure of the, the pod tonight. So, you know. And not only just forgiving family, forgive anyone that you love that you that hurt you. Forgive anyone. It's a time of not only forgiving, it's a time for giving. Give the love out to them people, even if they don't want to accept your forgiveness. You know what I'm saying? It's the time to just, you know, be thankful for what you do have. Look around and be thankful for what you have. If you have children, if you still have a sibling, if you have uh, aunts, uncles, mother, father, if you don't have that, look around what you do have and be thankful. So. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh and and uh and also uh because you do have a a brother that's incarcerated, all the incarcerated, all the inmates, 
you know what I'm saying, during the holidays, uh, keep those family members uplifted, you know what I mean? Uh, shout out to all the guys locked up, you know, during the holidays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that matters right there, you know what I'm saying? Sending some, uh, you know, everybody got a cell phone now, so you can cash up your, cam- your family member this time of year. I think that's a good thing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. What else you got? That was it. The family is blowing me up. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving, you guys. So we hope you guys are enjoying Thanksgiving. And again, to remember, be thankful. And as my husband said, it's the holidays. What better time to reach out to your family and let them know that you're loved and get that love out. That's a fact. That's major. That's major. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. What you think?